everyone and welcome back to Spectrum Talk. I'm Ruby Jones and I'm here today with the very talented Naomi Rogers, who's here to tell us all about the Broadway touring production of Disney's Frozen. Thank you so much for joining me, Naomi. Thank you, Ruby, for having me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super excited to talk to you and I'm excited to see Frozen on stage, but I gotta be honest, I feel like a big kid for being so hyped up about it. <laughs> play or will adults love it too both I was just talking about this yesterday with my cast I said this is a family show let me tell you something you get the best of both worlds in this show you get to feel like a kid as an adult but also you get to feel what it is to watch a show that you think is about kids and go Ooh, I see the realness in that. I see the story that you're trying to tell. I see where I can implement certain parts of my adulthood and bring that into my life from this show. The show will give you life, it, it, oh, both for kids and for adults. So yes. Okay. Well, great. That's good to hear. I was I was a little nervous over here. I was like, do I need to grow up a little bit? No. <laughs> Well, for years, you know, we've heard all the familiar songs from the animated movie score. And I know a lot of us with kids probably know those songs by heart. But I read that the um, national touring production is going to feature some new songs all together for us to get to know and love. In your opinion, what does that expanded score bring to the musical? Oh, wow. Um, that's a great question. I think it adds more of a understanding of two sisters who love each other. At first we were thinking for a while, Kristoff and Anna, but the story that we're telling is about two sisters who are isolated from each other for so long and finally being able to see each other face to face, being around each other, being in the same space with each other. And it, it expands it in a way where we're, we're tapping into this relationship a lot more and we get to see the love we get to see the hurt we get to see everything all come together for them and so I think it just it, it makes it makes more sense about what we're trying to tell and it's it's a beautiful story so the music adds even more of um, a beauty to what we're already doing that's cool and you know one of the things that I also read and I didn't realize this before is that the original movie, Frozen, or I guess the storyline is based lightly on Hans Christian Andersen's story of the Snow Queen. Yes. So he's one of my favorites. I love how the adaptations, you know, over the years tell his stories. So I think that's really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that storyline play out. Yes. What do you think audiences will love most about the Frozen musical? Oh, just the one animations, animation, animations. Um, we have our own magic on stage, you know, and um, this ensemble also carries this show so well and uplifts our leads so well. So you'll love seeing just the beauty of the, the dancing and the costumes, but also the magic on the stage during Let It Go. It's everybody's favorite part. Nobody, everybody's like, is the show over? No, there's a second act I'm so sorry but <laughs> <laughs> but just to just to see a Broadway show is going to be everybody's favorite part this is really a Broadway show you don't see stuff like this often and I'm sad that we're closing so soon but this is going to be the last time you see something like this you know and, and, and Disney Disney really did their thing with this so audience members are going to definitely definitely love just the Ah, of it all. This is Broadway, you know? <laughs> nice. I love that feeling. And, you know, speaking of that, it's interesting because for the viewers and listeners who don't know, the pre-Broadway rendition of this show actually began in Denver way yeah. back in 2017. So it's going to be opening here again in the Mile High City um, on June 19th at the Buell Theater. But Naomi, one of the reasons why I'm so excited to talk to you is because it feels like just yesterday you were here and I saw you perform as Tina in the teen musical. And I just have to tell you, you blew us away with that performance. Oh. So are you excited to make your way back to Denver? A hundred percent. I <laughs> thank you. But yes. Oh, my gosh. Denver. Let me tell you something to be able to do a show in Denver and then to also join back in a tour that started my career. This show started me. It, it, it gave me wow. the tour 
everything to be able to do this tour life and to be able to be be a, you know a traveling artist performing artist so to go back to Denver where it all started for for everybody and to remember when I first started and watching like the little clips of everybody rehearsing in Denver and doing all the things and they were doing bad clips frog clips and all those things and <laughs> that is not what we're doing at all in this show <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's truly a blessing. It really is. And I'm excited to be back in, in the city of where it all started. So, and I'm ready to bring some frozen magic to Denver back. It's like, it's all full circle. Yeah. Well, that's really awesome. I, you know, my next question was going to be why you chose this production. I had no idea that this was kind of where you, did you fall in love with theater with this show or was it just like the grand awakening, like Broadway is where I need to be? I started the show in 2019, so I just graduated from college. And uh -huh. so I had just gotten my agents and I was just auditioning and, and, you know, living the New York struggle life and trying to, you know, make ends meet. And then, boom, I booked this and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And uh -huh. so but I think one thing that will always draw me back to this show and why I said absolutely, yes, I will come back and be in this ensemble is to it's like like I said, that Disney magic. And the thing is how I like to describe everybody in this cast is that we're all leads. Every yeah. single person on this stage is a star. And I think that's another thing audience members will love is that the people that you see on the stage are talented. And I love working alongside talented people. So, you know, I just, I, I love being around these people and they make every day better and then they make the show better and uh, everybody even behind the scenes is it, everyone matters. So it's a good, it's a good group to be in and it's a good show to be in. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, that's really nice to hear. And, you know, with the ensemble specifically, I feel like in a Broadway play, the ensemble is what moves everything forward. It kind of sets the stage. Do you love the ensemble? Do you love being like more front and center? Like you were with Tina. What's your preference? I love ensemble because I get to play different characters throughout the whole show. Playing one character was a lot of fun, yes, but I couldn't change it up. You know, I had to stay the same, which I loved. I mean, she was an, she's an, was an icon, so <laughs> duh. But but this this character that I chose in in this show it, it fluctuates. It's it's different in each and every scene, and I get to pick and choose how I feel, and I get to pick and choose who I want to be. You know, they gave us all um, um, German names to pick out when we first started the tour, so I picked Loki, <laughs> which, is a, which is yes, which is a Marvel, uh, which is a Marvel legend, yes. and I put, picked it so I get to tap into this Loki character in different parts of the show and it's so much fun so like yes front and center who doesn't love that especially when you're telling a story like tina turner but when you're telling a story like this and you know that your job is to uplift your your leads and to help push this story and really bring it together that's even more exciting to me it's a challenge <laughs> that's so cool my daughter is gonna love that my oldest daughter loves loki and she has one of the variant jackets and everything i mean she's yes. <laughs> so cool. I can't wait to tell her. Now, you know, we're just now kind of easing back into the summer, but in Denver, it's hot. It was like 100 degrees yesterday. All right. <laughs> so I'm sure audiences are going to love that little sneak peek of winter and the icy scenes. But what's your absolute favorite part of the performance without giving everything away? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I love I can't I'm literally being one of those people but I love every part of this show but the only thing that can really come to my mind is the most magical part I spend every single day in this show at a specific point of a scene and I leave the scene and I go on the other side of the stage and I go and watch let it go everyone else goes and gets changed everyone else goes and you know gets their wigs off I'm in my same costume from the scene before and I walk all the way over to the other side of the stage and sit in my one little spot. I know what lights are about to turn on. I know what's about to happen. And I watch a show and I watch Caroline Bowman literally tell this beautiful story of letting go. You know, it's not just a, a Elsa thing. It's a personal thing. It's mm -hmm. a thing that, you know, gives people life and, and it, it that I'm getting all the things that I need from watching her every single night, you know, she changes it up and she 
feels differently one way and she does this and you know makes icicles on stage and that oh it just it's, it is so beautiful let it go literally is the best number in this show I can't wait to see it. And I guess that speaks <laughs> to I guess that speaks to how it's not just for, you know, kids and adults will love it too, because that is a good message. Let it go. Even from the musical or the musical movie, I guess. Let yeah. it go is one that really, really sticks. Yeah. You know, another thing that I love in looking at um kind of the information about the show that's coming is the diverse cast that you all are touring yeah. with. I love that. Tell me how it feels to work with a cast of just such wonderful, vibrant actors and actresses on stage. Yes, um, at walks of life is what I like to call it. Different walks of life, being on stage with them and knowing that I have my people on stage and knowing that everybody else supports us in, in a way that we need. Um, I think that's why I love this, this show so much is that they they allow us to be us and they allow us to feel how we feel and they allow us to be in our world and they never they never push that away or they never put it to the side or anything like that so I think it's a wonderful thing to be on a stage with a diverse cast diverse cast because it just it makes you feel a little bit safe and it makes you feel at home and it makes you feel like you can be authentically you and um, working with everybody, it's just, it's, when I tell you, everyone is like best friends. Like, we're like, what are we doing tonight? Oh. <laughs> we're like, how, how are we feeling tonight? How are we doing it? And the thing is, everybody, because sometimes either I can come to people to uplift me before the show, or they come to me and uplift, or, you know, vice versa, you know? And um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I love this little group. <laughs> oh, good. Well, again, I can't wait to be part of it. I can't wait to watch. And, you know, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me again today. Naomi, thank you so much. Of course, Ruby. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, for everyone, Frozen will be playing at the Buell Theater down at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts Complex for three weeks from June 19th through July 3rd. But do not wait to get tickets because they are selling fast. And remember, this musical is not just for the kids. Thank goodness. It's, you know, for the whole family, adults are going to love it too. It's won multiple Tony Awards and it's getting rave reviews. So bring the family out and enjoy it. Visit denvercenter.org for tickets. And thank you as always for tuning in. See you next time.